Columbus City Council is introducing a set of proposals working to address issues related to housing in the city. Council members say the proposals tie into the city's larger goal of providing safe and affordable housing as the city continues to grow. NBC4 Sierra Johnson was there as council laid out their plan. Sierra, we're talking about seven or more proposals here. Yeah, that's right. Seven or more proposals to make up a larger plan. I did have a chance to speak with council member Shayla Favor, who says this has been in the works for months and could take as much as 12 to 16 months to implement. Our growth is our greatest asset, but it's also our greatest challenge. Uh, and the biggest challenge we see is around housing. It's an issue members of Columbus City Council say they are well aware of and have seen only intensify as time goes on. We had a housing crisis uh, before the pandemic. Uh, the pandemic has only exasperated what was already uh, happening in our community. But these seven members of council coming together to create individual proposals with the hope that collectively they will address an ongoing problem in the capital city, a shortage of affordable housing. What we cannot do is put all of our eggs in one basket. Uh, we cannot uh, believe or assume that there's going to be one thing that is going to cure what we are experiencing in the city of Columbus. There's got to be a number of different things firing all at the same time. Uh, but one thing is clear that we cannot wait. Housing chair of the Columbus City Council, Shayla Favor, kicked off the announcement, reiterating that the proposals all build on Mayor Andrew Ginther's existing affordable housing bond package. Among the ideas, a rental property registry, a vacant and foreclosed database, and a program to encourage ADU, or those second dwelling units, a smaller unit on the plot of a larger home. We have been uh, engaging in uh, passing progressive uh, housing legislation uh, since my time on council. Uh, this time uh, we are focused on um, doing more uh, than just what on one office uh, can and could bear on its own. Favor emphasized that these proposals will take time to develop and will be formed with the input of community members. For now, these council members say this is the first step in developing another layer of protection and assistance to help with what they consider one of the biggest concerns of a growing city. This is an expansion of that work. We're going to continue to expand upon that Housing for All legislative package. But what you heard today uh, is our commitment, our priorities as it relates to housing. And you're going to see a series of engagements around this conversation of housing. And that housing chair really wanted to emphasize that engagement was the key to all of these proposals. Uh, she's looking to have community engagement as each proposal is made. As that happens, we will provide more information on our website, NBC4i.com. We're local for you in Columbus, Sierra Johnson, NBC4.